Creating a name boundary via the from drawing boundary method. In the previous section, you created a name boundary via the by two points method. In this section, you will utilize another method from drawing boundary. A drawing boundary is a predefined area on a sheet model. Using this method, in conjunction with setting the drawing scale, you can visualize exactly the area as it pertains to the area on the sheet. In this section, you will learn to place a named boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. Continuing in the Pond Plans DGN file, from the DGN Roadway folder of the SR20 project, select Apply Saved View. In the Apply Saved View tool settings window, from the Save View drop down menu, set this to P1. Issue a data point into the view to apply it. Next, select the Place Name Boundary tool from the Name Boundary ribbon group. And then set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, from drawing boundary, the plan sheet only drawing boundary, for the name, retention pond 1, for the mode, place a single name boundary. Set the detail scale to 1 inch equals 50, and make sure that the create drawing option is enabled. Take note of the resulting boundary. At this given scale, it's not large enough to encompass the area around the pond. That said, return back to the tool settings window and change the detail scale to 1 inch equals 100 feet. Now, bring your cursor back into the view. This time, the scale is suitable. Position your cursor so that the pond is centered within the name boundary shape and issue a data point. In the Create Drawing dialog, all the options are set except for Add Sheet to Index. Enable this and click the Select a Folder from Sheet Index. The Sheet Index Folder Picker dialog opens. From here, expand SR20 and then Roadway Plans. Highlight the Drainage Plans Profiles folder and then click OK. When finished, click OK to dismiss the Create Drawing dialog and create the sheet. Using the Element Selection tool, move the drawing title away from any geometry. Continuing in the Pond Plans DGN file, select Apply Save View. In the Apply Save View tool settings window, from the Save View drop down menu, set this to P2. Issue a data point into the view to apply it. Next, select the Name Boundary tool, and then set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, from Drawing Boundary, the Plan Sheet Only Drawing Boundary, for the name, Retention Pond 2, for the mode, place a single name boundary, for the detail scale, 1 inch equals 50 feet, and with the Create Drawing option enabled. Now, position your cursor so that the name boundary shape is centered over the pond and issue a data point. In the Create Drawing dialog, all the options are set except for Add Sheet to the Index. Enable this and click the Select a Folder from Sheet Index. The Sheet Index Folder Picker dialog opens. From here, expand SR20, then Roadway Plans, and then highlight the Drainage Plan Profiles folder and click OK. When finished, Click OK to dismiss the Create Drawing dialog and create the sheet. The newly created sheet 
Retention Pond 2 opens with the contents of the name boundary referenced to it. Select Apply State View and apply the P3 State View. Select the Place Named Boundary tool with the following tool settings. From Drawing Boundary, Plan Sheet Only for the Drawing Boundary, Retention Pond 3 for the name, Place a Single Name Boundary, Set the Detail Scale to 1 inch equals 100 feet, and the Crate Drawing option enabled. Position your cursor so that the name boundary shape is centered over the pond and issue a data point. In the Crate Drawing dialog, enable the option Add Sheet to the Index, and click the Select a Folder from Sheet Index, expand SR20, Roadway Plans, and then highlight the Drainage Plans Profile folder and click OK. And then click OK to dismiss the Crate Drawing dialog. Open the Explorer dialog if it isn't already. Along the icon bank of the Sheet Index tab, click the Open Sheet Index for edit. Expand the Drainage Plans Profiles folder within the SR20 Sheet Index. From here, rearrange the Retention Ponds sheets using the drag and drop technique so that they are in the proper sequence. Then, right-click on the Project Root SR20 and then choose Update Sheet Model Properties from the contextual menu. In this section, you learn to place a name boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.